much, Mr. Robert Salia. Now we are at the end of the, the program. I want to invite our elder brother, a politician who is one of the greatest politicians ever in the history of Sierra Leone. A politician who is down to the act. A politician who is highly respected. A politician who is generous. A politician also the encyclopedia of Sierra Leone. It's not let it pass. I'm calling on the entire membership of this program to give that particular man a standing ovation when I call him in. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Will I sit down, please? Thank you. Hello. Ah, uh, bro. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for the fine introduction we don't give me. In this month of Ramadan, the pre president will keep in that position for a long time. Uh, honorable ministers, today we get Boku Boku minister in there. Then we get honorable members them, and they see them that the high table there, and they see them yonder. Uh, we want to uh, make we honorable members of parliament and let them team up, let them know say Boku of Unaka attend this program. And they see Kai Samba there, and they see Mande Obayana. They empty them. We will see a lot of honorable members from parliament team here today. Una thank you, thank you, una lot love for them. Also, we get the Kupo Kupo Minister then. We come, I want to ask the Minister, they all let us have team up. Make one know say, the Kupo Minister then come up free time today, they have come for grace this occasion. As soon as see the Ministers, then they are the Minister of Employment, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Minister of Tourism, Finance, Trade, we only are the Minister of Mines. We are the Godfather of this program. We tell you thank you. Today, we are here to officially launch the 30 million metric ton processing plant. But more importantly, this launch is signify the transformation way that is taking place in the mining sector. Because when His Excellency President Bill took over in 2018, his vision for the mining sector was the three C that we are going to develop the mining sector to benefit three C's. One, one, to benefit the community. Two, to benefit the country. Three, to benefit the very company that is going to invest in the mining sector. That is the three C. And from where His Excellency roll out that program day, we don't see huge transformation where don't take place in the mining sector. Speaker then before me don't talk about the benefit where communities they get. Would I not say where the honorable where the honorable member of parliament in the talk? It talks say we don't move from 0.1% to 1%. So today it means say. All the mining communities in this country, who say mining companies that they operate, they get opportunity for get 1% of the total profit of that company. And then they, they translate into billions and billions of leos. That 1% there, they, they help them community then they, for let them able to undertake big development projects. The Parliament chief, when one of the beneficiary chiefs of them, inside this particular mining community, Don Kadaya himself don't can testify. Not a government say oh, that the Parliament self, 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 self say that they benefit extremely from where President Bill come he put up on this mining. The other one that the country, where the mining company then they work, then they pay tax, 
then they pay royalties. So today, if we dare, we can launch another 30 million metric tons, it means when they increase the production, they go increase the royalty, they go increase the revenue of government. For the company itself, they said we get responsibility as a government for make sure say we create the conducive environment for let them say invest, let them say make profit, and also make them get an environment outside them go able to do their work and nobody not go disturb them. So when I see the vision of President Bio, where he said the community for benefit, the company where they come for benefit, and the country as a whole for benefit. And since 2018, Nadande would not do, and when I see the Minister of Mines, we get the responsibility for implement that 3C policy, they say don't talk and I adjust. Additionally, this T where we can launch today, where we will move from 12,000 to 30, start from 12 million to 30 million. The president of the company, Mr. Collins, don't say, right now, there are over 6,000 jobs that King Hu has provided. And that in 2025, King Hu is going to provide about around 15,000 jobs. You know what he mean? Let me make, make the Minister of Employment come out free to Ekanaya. Because it means say, from now to 2025, they create additional 14,000 jobs then. That they mean 14,000 young Sierra Leoneans then go get work, then go able to pay their nurses, then go look after their family, and then go able to pay tax to government. That is a big thing for the community, a big thing for the district, and a big thing for the country. But I also say, His Excellency, in the manifesto we launched last year, and I can say, you want to create 500,000 jobs. From that end to now, His Excellency don't go to Boku, Boku areas them. We in the open factory them. In the open factory them. Any factory where they open, now jobs that will create for young people. Any factory where they open, now opportunity that the for young people then go, then go learn skills and then they get gainful employment. This one back, they create additional 14,000 jobs from now to 2025. So, I want to tell the Minister of my thank you for way he push the President in policy in the mining sector. I also want to tell the company thank you Thank you, Kihu, for your vision and also for your additional investment. We want to tell the community thank you for willing to provide the support where this company need. We are the benefit from this company, the government the benefit from this company, the district the benefit from this company, we are picking the benefit from this company. And Sierra Leoneans they benefit from this company. When I get responsibility for let the company they are, let them work with no problem for create that environment, for let them able to work, then do the work so that they will continue for support the company. So I want to tell the community thank you for all the work that don't do with Kihu. What in this show? What they say mining, mining now what you would call the productive sector. This is for sure when I say President Bio in vision, not only for make sure say begin and go to school, not only for make sure say Bella woman do not die from born, it brings well body for begin and Bella woman them, a woman in this country, not only for buy work of fine boss, let people in the work with an Africa, not only for let buy boss them for school, begin and let them able to lay inside safety and security for go school. Well, President Bureau also they pay immense attention to the productive sector. 
We're not going to move the economy, it create jobs, and bring beaucoup money so that we're able to pay salaries and pay for education ahead. So where we there today, and what in the pan take place now today? Where would they move from 12 million metric ton? Investment, let's see the loan. What would they import too much food? Would they import oil? Would they import onion? Would they import rice? Would they import sugar? Would they even import Coca Cola? For we able to produce an air. And since 2018, we don't open Boku, Boku, Boku factory there. Now this country, yeah. Today, we get Boku factory there where they produce water and drinks in this country. Today, we get factory there where they produce Boku thing that will be the import before. Today, the people there where they import rice, where they import onion, they don't establish big farm them. We don't begin to grow Boku, Boku onion in this country. Today, now this country with the export cooking oil will be the important today, today with the exporter to other countries. <laughs> this is some of the work with President Bio and government they do. But just tell you that say, what would they have today? We let people they know say today we know they talk about the social sector. Most times when they talk about education, when they talk about health, when they talk about access to water, today we they are to talk about the economy, to talk about the mining sector, where President Bill and Minister of Mine don't try for change, they don't put discipline there, they don't bring order there. They make the community then today, we don't pass that term, where community then they, where the mining company, where the community then vex, the mining company then don't take back money, then give them no. Today, the company then they pull money for them profit, where government know, where everybody know, where it's sanctioned by law, for give the community there, let the community themselves use that money there for build school, for build hospital, and for make the community go before. <laughs> this the new thing we not been happy before. The way President Bio come, then then Tia be happy. So we want to tell you all thank you. I want to tell the media then thank you for when they come because they are in a far place. We see the media then Kaya, then they able to take all of this, all of you they talk. And then go show to the world and to Sierra Leoneans then what in the happen at the mining sector. We want to tell the media then thank you. We want to tell all the people away Kaya. This is a far place. Then people always Kaya in the show say for Tunis and Gilbert then they do their work. Because for bring people in the air, it's not easy. But we want to tell everybody thank you. We take time for Kanaya for can witness this. This is a very big thing for the country. This is a very big thing for the mining sector. For create 14,000 jobs, which are young people that go there, they go get work. And for create opportunity for increased government royalty, for increase the CDF to the community, this is a big thing. Let me we all carry out today. The Prime Minister and there, Honorable and there, big people and there, Parliament chiefs them from all the districts, they all there, who can grace this occasion. Because we believe, say, this is a very important event. I want to tell His Excellency, thank you for the vision we get for this mining sector and the vision we get for this country. We want to thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.